Sounds hey guys, so I'm back with another meal prep video. This is a simple white rice with chicken curry recipe. And again, my videos are not going to be that long with Sounds my meal prep videos and my recipe videos because when it comes to meal prepping, I don't like to spend too much time just because I'm prepping for multiple days. So here I'm just chopping up some peppers. Um, and in this recipe, I was actually using very, very basic ingredients because I just pretty much used what I had left in the freezer or fridge. Um, so just some peppers here, some bell peppers, which I just used the red and yellow one. I'll have some frozen peas also that I will include, um, some chicken stock, some tomato paste, and also I did want to include some potatoes, but I didn't actually have any more potatoes left, so yeah. <laughs> and in terms of seasoning, I used just some basic curry seasoning and also some paprika, because you know I love my paprika, and some pepper and some salt. So yeah, this is pretty much what I used, and some red onions and garlic, um, which is the basic staple of what I use to start my sauces or stews and things of that nature. And here I'm just going to put in my onions and my garlic just to be simmering until they turn a little bit clear and just cook through. Once my onions and my garlic have turned a little bit clear, a little bit more brown, I'll then add my diced chicken. So you can chop them up however small you want, however large you want. Um, you know, it's your curry, just tailor it to you and how you like it. And then from there, I'll just mix it all up, make sure that the onions, the garlic and the chicken are all coated and mixed all through. And also in the back there, I do have my rice already going. What I tend to do with my rice is depending on however much your rice you use. So in this instance, I used a cup and a half of rice. I then just double it with the water that I use, add a tablespoon of oil, so any cooking oil you use, whether it's olive oil, vegetable oil, etc. And then I put a film, um, well not film, should I say, <laughs> foil on top of it, put the lid on, and then I let that simmer on a low heat, and that's how I cook my rice for around 15 to 20 minutes, just till it's a little bit cooked through, but al dente, so it still has a bit more of the flavour to the rice. And then from here back to my curry, I just add my stock, which I just mixed with some water in a cup and some tomato puree just to add some colour and just to add some tomatoes because I didn't have any tomatoes again I used whatever was left in my fridge and my freezer that's how basic and simple this recipe is but it still comes out really really good I then just go on to add all the rest of my vegetables and my ingredients so there was the frozen peas, the peppers and also some salt, some pepper as well and um, just to mix all that in, give it the flavour because what I want is for the peas and the peppers to really cook slowly and just really soften up and cook properly and slowly and through and from there just make sure I mix everything through and check on my rice as well which is almost done there and um, as you can see it's quite fluffy it's light the water's all disappeared and gone and this is pretty much what the curry will look like once it's been simmering for a while for around 20 minutes or so on a lower heat and this is pretty much what it'll look like again it would have been so much better if I did add my potatoes but I didn't have any left and that is pretty much it, guys. That is the recipe. Um, this is what it looked like after. So the rice and the, and the curry stew. Very basic, very simple, but really delicious and doesn't take too much time.